Hey guys, what's up, Donald Blue here, back from another video, and today I'm just going to be doing my top 5 Sega franchises I want to see return. If you guys remember Sega back in the day, they used to be really, really awesome. This is just going to be 5 games I want to see, or well, 5 game series I want to see return, so hope you enjoy guys, and if you do enjoy, remember to leave a comment telling us some of your favourite Sega franchises you want to see return. Maybe I'll do this with other companies as well. But for now, let's just begin. So number five is Afterburner. Afterburner is one of their old arcade games. What you're basically doing Afterburner is you're in a plane and you're targeted to shoot down enemies. You're trying to get to the end of the stage. It's sort of like what um, Outrun did at the time. You have to get from point A to point B and it just keeps going and going and going and you have so many lives to use up and it's really really fast paced and it's really really fun to play the last one they actually made was at the burner climax on the ps3 and the xbox 360 but unfortunately that actually got taken off the playstation network and the xbox live store for some odd reason i don't think we we're ever told why it was taken off the xbox live store and the playstation network um i'm guessing it had something to do with the licensing rights to the actual planes they were using um but that's really a shame because it was really, really a fun game. Um, lucky enough, Private Mittens actually did buy a pur uh, purchase a copy of this game, uh, that game, before it went off the store. So if you did purchase the game, you can actually still download it on um, your download list, but you just can't um, find the game if you actually don't have the copy of the game or even the demo. So yeah... Afterburn was a really, really fun series. As I said, you haven't seen it since Climax. Climax was pretty much just like what the old Afterburns were, just HD graphics. It looked absolutely beautiful. It was really, really fast paced. And they had a few new aircraft to it. They had um, like different modules to it where you can actually um, <coughs> boost like constantly. And you have infinite miss uh, missiles and stuff like that, and it constantly auto fires for you with the machine gun, stuff like that. But yeah, I really, really love Afterburner, um, the franchise in general. So I'd love to see that make a return. Maybe sort of similar to what Ace Combat would do nowadays, just more arcadey, or. I'm not going to do what Private Mentally does, like seeing what, telling you what I want to see. Happy. Yeah, I really love to see this return. So number four is Fantasy Star. We have had Fantasy Star games in recent years. We had Fantasy Star Online 2. I think that came out like two, three years ago. But that's not a real Fantasy Star games in my eyes and a lot of other fans' eyes. Um, I don't really have much experience with the Fantasy Star games. And not going to lie, um, I have played the first one. And I believe I played like the second or third one. And I played a bit of Fantasy Star Universe, which is on the PS2 and the Xbox. 360 which I really really love that game but unfortunately as well as the story that does have online as well it's nice that they had that actually add the story to that game but it still does not feel like a fantasy star game to be honest fantasy star games they used to be like the final fantasy games open world exploration they used to have a, like a really strong plot to them they used to be full of memorable characters and really sad moments where like the Final Fantasy series usually would have and yeah people want that back I know Private Mittens was talking to me about this actual subject and he said yeah he would love to see Fantasy Star return in its glory he would love to see it return the way it used to be the way um, it should be and I agree with him I totally agree with him I want to see it return to more of an RPG um, the other than an MMO, I don't think the Fantasy Star series really suits the MMO um, formula. I think they should just stick to what they were good at in the original games. I know Fa uh, Final Fantasy has went to the, um, the MMO side as well, which, to be honest, I don't think Final Fantasy suits it either. I think they should just stick with RPGs too, but that's another subject which I will touch upon someday. 
So next up is Street Rage. Street Rage is a side scroll beat 'em up game similar to the likes of um, Final Fight and the Double Dragon series. What I want to see with this game is I want to see it get redone from the ground up, make a fourth one of the game, obviously, because fans have wanted a new game, we just don't want to remaster in the first three. Um, build it from the ground up, so do what Double Dragon did, make it. Um, Make it look really, really awesome, but keep everything from the original games in it. Don't take anything out. Don't change the music. Don't fuck around the gameplay. Just keep everything the same. Just make it look really, really nice. And maybe add some more music into it. Maybe more characters. Um, and yeah, just make it really, really awesome. Um, I don't think we've seen... Uh, Street Rage game since the ones on the Mega Drive, so a lot of fans have been wanting these games for a long, long time. I know I absolutely love these games. I'm not really a big fan of beat 'em up games. I'm not really a big uh, fan of the Street, not Street Rage, sorry, Double Dragon or Final Fight games, but I absolutely love Street Rage, so I do. So yeah, that's my number three. So number two is Mad World. Mad World is a newer game. It was out in the Wii. And it was only out in the way, so it hasn't been ported via a console before. And what I want to see done on this is just, I want to see this ported to um, the Switch. I want to see it get an HD um, remaster and put on the Switch so more people are going to enjoy it, pretty much. Um, what my world is, it's pretty much just a 3D beat em up game where you have different weapons that you can use. You can toss the enemies into spikes and into traps, which then makes them bleed um, profoundly. It just goes absolutely everywhere. And because the graphics are in black and white, it really makes the blood stand out even more. It was really, really violent and really, really gory. And that was not. Um, that was not something you'd see much on the Wii, being the Wii being kid friendly and family friendly. So this game really stood out in the Wii, and I don't think many people played it in the Wii. So I'd love to see it get a remaster for the Switch and let more people experience that game because Platinum Games didn't have been it can get a remaster for the Wii U. Hell, why can't my World get a remaster for the Switch? I don't even care if it was on the Switch. Only, I just would love a remaster in this game. I found it really, really fun, and yeah, I just really enjoyed the game. So that's all I have to say about that. So before I say what my top one, is, uh, my top one is, um, I'm just going to mention a few games I haven't mentioned yet, which deserve an honorable mention because the games are really, really awesome, and we haven't seen them in a while either. Golden Axe, we haven't seen Echo the Dolphin. I believe the last Echo the Dolphin we seen was, um. On the PS2. I don't know if that's exclusive for the PS2. But I know there was one on the PS2. Golden Ass we didn't see one since the PS3. Or the Xbox 360 days. Um, that was called Beast Riders. If you actually want to play that game. It's like a 3D beat em up I believe. Um, Shadow Force. But I don't think we've seen one since the Mega Drive. Collect uh, the Mega Drive. Um, Super Fun to Blade. Outrun. Super hang on. I love Yu Suzuki games. Um, there's so many games. Flicky, um, Decapetti, we haven't seen Vectorman. I love Vectorman, one of the hardest games I've ever played, also. Um, but what I have to say to you guys is if you have not played any of these games and you want to try them out, go buy the Sega Mega Drive collection for the PS3 and the Xbox 360. They have a lot of old Sega classics on it. I'm not being promoted by Sega to say this, by the way. Um, it's just if you're a really big fan of Sega or old classic nostalgic games, I would definitely recommend you pick this um, this collection up. It's only about 10 quid anyway, so it's worth the price. You're getting about 40 games in it, and you can unlock some old arcade games as well as um, Soul some old um, Master System games too. So, without further ado, let's just get into my number one then. So my number one is Sega Rally. I'm not going to talk about this too much because Private Men's already talked about this on his Games He Like to See Make a Comeback video. But what I want to say about this game is it's a really, really fun um, arcade uh, rally racing game. There's not very many racing games. Um, around anymore. I know we still have the Dirt series and the w WRC is it called, I'm not even too sure. Um, but Dirt, it's not as good as it used to be and WRC I've never played. Um, 
I do like more arcade racing uh, driving games. So, yeah, I think Sega Rally is more up my alley. Um, that rhymed. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you want to play Sega Rally, yes, you can download it on the PS3 or the Xbox 360 as well. So, if you're interested in playing that, go ahead. Um, if you want to hear more in detail to have about Sega Rally, go check out Perfect Mittens video. I shall leave that up in the top of the screen right there, and you can go check that out. But anyways, guys, is there a Sega game that I missed what you would mention or you want to see come back? Leave that in the comment section below for me, and keep on gaming, guys. See you next time. It's done on Tuesday night.